So when you're looking at this aqueous planet, it's not an earth planet, it's a water planet, really. Because everything that you're looking at is mostly water. I mean, all this vegetation, all those forests, those forces, we, we're mostly water. The whole planet is, and water is a flow system. So if you obstruct flow, you know, you get stagnation. When you get stagnation, you get all these consequences. What water needs to do is flow. And that means you need to have good circulation in animals and people. You need to have good circulation in plants and soils, capillary action, aggregate. All that, all that is associated with the transo-evaporation system, which allows water to get out of the ground, up into the clouds, through the vegetation. I want you to dig in there. Look, look inside the cover. Okay, now, do you guys see any residue? A little, not much. Not, not much. much, right? What's this okay, this dead, residue. Dead plants. There's dead materials. So we don't see much on this on this field, right? No. Okay, now. Okay, now, where you do, guess what? You peel that back and you see aggregation. If you see residue on the top of the surface, that's called the detritus sphere, between the residue and the soil, guess what's happening? Aggregation. Where there's carbon, there's aggregation. If you have just orchard grass alfalfa as your pasture, you're going to have simple flavor. If you have something that has 10 different grasses, 8 forks, 9 legumes, you're going to have a much broader and more complex flavor. So from a, from a uh, eating experience standpoint, because I'm about flavor, the more diverse the pasture, the greater the flavor is going to be. So that, that's five things. Better solar panel, better to balance nutrition, uh, the insect and disease resistance, tolerance, uh, flavor in the meat, and then the mineral profiles of the plant.